What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Del from Inky Quill and happy St. Patrick's Day wherever you might be in the world. It's probably not St. Patrick's Day right now if you're watching this as soon as I upload because I do upload at 7 a.m. in the morning my time. It's probably still Friday. But I thought, oh, okay, I thought because it was St. Patrick's Day, not that we celebrate it greatly as a family here, but there's a lot of green going about today and I thought I would brave green so this is for you inklets I did this for you I have created a green layout and uh, I won't I, I, I will say it's not going to become my new regular it's not going to become the new turquoise pink gold combo but I, I don't mind it in the end I'm going through the Crepe Paper Flourish uh, 6x6 paper pad because it has so much green in it. And when I first saw the release online of this collection, I did kind of go, ooh, because if you're a regular inky watcher, you know how much I love crepe paper, but you also know how much I detest green. And so I thought I would try and use up some of the papers in today's layout. So I go through and I make, I go, I go to my default because I was feeling very stuck, very um, stressed with this layout. And so I thought, I oh know, I'll make some little embellishment clusters that will calm me down and make everything feel okay. And it did help a lot. But my golly, this is a busy layout. For only being a 6x12 layout, it is happening. It is happening and happening. It's very busy. So I make these little um, embellishments not having any idea with what I'm actually going to do for the layout. Uh, internally freaking out about um, the misting that I'm about to do. But just breathing slowly and letting it all go. Um, I will, a couple of people have asked what I do with these 6x12 layouts. I include them in my album just like all the other layouts. There are specific 6x12 page protectors. They're the Project Life Becky Higgins brand. Uh, or you can also buy the American Crafts ones which are uh, marketed to store thickers in. I have an one album flip over here on YouTube. If you search for Inky Quill, uh, I think it's like January album flip through, it'll come up. Oh, look at all that lime green. I'm oh, freaking out. Um, I do have one flip through over here of my 2016 album where I combine my layouts and Project Life pocket pages all together. Um, or if you're one of my Patreon people, I do a flip through every single month. And I've flipped through all of my 2016 albums and we're on to the wedding albums. We did our first wedding album this month. So I, there was green everywhere. Like there was so much green. Oh, it's, it's so green. And look, it's not that I don't like green. It's just that I find it very hard to work with. I like dark green. So the polished jade uh, of the um, Dilutions sprays and paints, I don't mind. And I quite like to wear emerald green. It's just anything lighter than that. I, I, I start to twitch. I'm twitching now while doing this voiceover. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. It's just not my go-to color. So now I'm doing the water drippy droppy technique. And so all you do is with these water soluble inks, you can drippy drop some water and then let it sit for probably 30 seconds to a minute. And you get this spotty kind of effect. And in a way, this made the layout even busier and I slightly regret it, but you'll see in the end. Let me know if you like the drippy droppies. I, I just, there's just a lot of green. I, I didn't mean to be that much in the background and it was a little more intense that I had hoped for, but hey, it's, it's there now. I also got green on Archie's face. Um, so this is a photo of uh, Archie and his expression when we go and meet Aaron for lunch breaks. So at Aaron's old job, um, someone else asked on our daily vlog, well, it's pretty much not daily at the moment, but our daily vlog channel, Mr. and Mrs. Rad the other day, uh, how long Aaron's lunch breaks are because we seem to get a lot of stuff done and go a lot of places and do a lot of things. Uh, he hasn't. He had an hour at his old job, but the good thing was his job was in a location where everything was close by. 
And so Archie and I would go and meet him almost every day, uh, just basically to get out of the house. And it was just a nice, you know, way to communicate with other humans during the day instead of just being stuck at home all the time. And whenever Aaron pops in the car and says, hello, Mr. Moo, Archie does the biggest grin. And I was lucky enough to capture it in this photo. So I'm just adding a few little paper layers here and some tissue paper. And I do cut out some bits and pieces because I'm just sticking stuff and you don't really need to see me sticking, sticking and cutting. Um, but I only do two paper layers for this one and it half doily because it was just so busy. Looking back, I, if I'd done a few more paper layers, I probably could have covered up some of that green, but that would have been a bit cheating, I guess. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try and do as much green as I could. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was, it was a lot. So now I've plugged in my hot glue gun because I just used it for a previous video that I just filmed and I'm going to hot glue gun these hearts onto the layout. Now hot glue is not archival safe I don't think. Um, it's not uh, it's not the best adhesive and I know some people have had issues with things falling off. I, I haven't yet so that's why I still like to use it. I like to use it when I want to add a little bit of height to my embellishments. It gives a really nice uh, kind of depth to your layout if some of them pop out a little more and I don't have to worry about, you know, stuffing around with foam and little bits of cutting here and there. Um, so I do like to use hot glue gun only occasionally, not all the time because my, my thoughts are, I just explained this over on a um, Patreon video, my thoughts are is that Archie and any children we have in years to come are not going to want all of Mummy's 100 albums because let's face it, I've only been scrapbooking for, f for, for let's see, 14, 15, 16, four and a half years and I already have filled three quarters of a Ikea Calyx uh, cube unit with albums and they're not going to want them all. So I figure that if they're not archival safe, that's okay. I do plan one day to uh, digitally scan all of my layouts and have them somewhere and kind of have them dated, but also chronological, uh, also, sorry, tagged uh, with the people in them. So that if you're looking one day, if Archie's looking for photos of his, you know, Uncle Liam, he'll be able to go type in Liam and all of the layouts that have Liam in them will pop up. That's 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 a hope one day. One day when I don't have 50 million other things to do instead. Uh, so I'm just, I've glued down all those hearts and it's covered up some of the green. It's looking a little busy, but it's looking a little better. And I'm trying to work out where on earth to put my title. I, where on earth to put it and also what on earth to use because I felt like the the gold was too much if I did the whole title in it but the black was too black if I did the whole title in it and I'm going to be honest with you guys I really 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 struggled with this layout and um, I, I will admit I just finished it about 15 minutes ago I've got a work day today and I've kind of given up right now I need a little break I need a little um a little break from making because I'm a bit stuck. So I'm doing some scripty font up here that says that cheeky smile and adding that in. And then I struggle. I wanted to add a bit of journaling, but the layout was so busy. I didn't know where to put it. And so I go through, this is my little pouch that I keep my uh, Patreon printables that I design in it. And I had all these little wreaths from January, which I love, but they were just, it was too white. I know that sounds silly, but because there was so much green it, it was the white of these labels was really really standing out and so in the end I decide on a tag that I made um, a digital version of it and I just put a bit of journaling on there and then off camera I do put a bit of twine in it because I can't leave a tag without twine in through the hole I have to thread it because otherwise it looks funny in my in my mind for my layouts 
Um, so yes, I'm, I'm getting there slowly, but this layout has, has stumped my creativity a little bit. I need something to get my mojo going again. I think I might sit down, make myself a cup of tea because I've got probably an hour and a half till Archie comes home today. Um, and then, and then maybe I might be able to squeeze in one more page maybe I might do some project life instead um, if you are like me stumped for your creative mojo ideas uh, if you didn't know Aaron and I have a podcast called inky chat where we chat about all things creative uh, we were on a good roll for episodes and then we had Archie and things changed um, but we're hoping to record episode seven very very soon if you've also actually while i've got you here in the comments down below let us know any creative topics you'd like us to talk about what made me think of it is that our i think it was our second episode is all about ways to get back your creative mojo um, so i think i'm going to do some of the things that we talked about there and try and try and get some creative energy back this afternoon because right now I'm feeling very my tank is empty my creative tank is running on dry uh, and I look I, 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 I don't not like this layout it's just very very different very very different um, but you know not not every layout is going to be your absolute favorite of all time and I think it's important to share that with you guys so that you don't feel that pressure of um, always having everything so perfect all the time sometimes as long as it's scrapped it's done it's in the album it's better than not being in the album got my Heidi Shine Heidi Shine will make it better won't it Heidi Shine makes everything better shake 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 your Heidi Shine shake your Heidi Shine um, so a little bit of Heidi Shine and we should be good to go now I will just add quickly I'm thinking just for a little while, I usually do two videos over here, but my second channel, Let's Get Inky, has been getting a bit neglected. This year I've been really good and I've been doing a video every Friday over there. But I think for a little bit, I've got a class that I want to uh, record and I've got a few other projects in the making. I think for a little while, I'm just going to have videos every Saturday over here on Inky Quill. So just one video, um, unless I have a design team post on a different day, there'll be an extra one. And then a video every week on a Friday for Let's Get Inky. And then we have the vlog five days a week on Mr. and Mrs. Rad. And then Patreon has at least seven or eight, or actually it's eight videos a month. Um, so I think between all those videos, you'll get a whole lot of inky. Um, but thanks for dealing with me and my greenness today. I hope you have a very merry and jolly and bright St. Patrick's Day today if you do celebrate it. Um, shout out to all my Irish UK peeps because I know it's a lot bigger over there and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Bye.